Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing another defense slash tip video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over two defenses. One, that they pretty much patched to death to the point where it's not even a good defense anymore. And two, which is a very similar defense, which is completely lights out, a completely shut down defense. They look the same, but they're not. And I'm going to be going over that today. The formation we're going to be working out of is the big nickel over G. And it's really not, it's not necessarily important that we're working in the big nickel over G. It's a concept more than anything. The cover three sky is the first play that we're going to look at. You can find cover three skies uh, in pretty much, you know, any one of these uh, formations. You can see right here, we have the cover three sky, the two, four, five. Any defense you choose is going to have a cover three sky. Uh, but the reason I'm in the big nickel over G is because the second variation is a little bit more rare. It's a little bit harder to find. And the second variation, which is the much improved one, is the cover three match. Now, the cover three match will play. It looks the same, but it plays completely different. I'm going to go over a couple of different home run, one play touchdowns uh, that usually exploit the cover three buzz or the cover three sky, and they have no effect on the cover three match. That's how much better this defense is. So like I said, let's start off with the cover three sky. On the offensive side, I'm just gonna pick one of my uh, my favorite one play touchdowns that I use a lot, uh, and that's the vertical. So let's go and let's pick that. So to start off, if you watch my gameplay videos, you know that I pretty much only use cover two and man blitzes for the most part. That's like 90% of the plays I run as I switch back and forth between those two in different formations. Cover two inverts, stuff like that count. But ultimately, I don't use cover three a lot, especially not as much as I used to. Cover three, I would say, maybe got patched to, to the point where it really stinks, uh, maybe about December was like the last time that they, they put out a patch that really affected a coverage. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right here. I used to run cover three a lot, Madden 16, 17, 18. Cover three was probably my favorite defense. But once I saw how easily they patched this uh, to becoming a really bad defense, uh, I just stopped using it. So this is a pretty simple setup in a cover three one play touchdown. I don't even have to motion over the running back, but I did that anyway. Uh, but you're gonna see here, the, uh, the um, Thomas's route here, it's kind of a wheel route is going to affect that outside cornerback to the point where he basically bites and just gives a huge, easy, uh, you know, huge lane. I, I don't know why he didn't catch it, but he gives a huge lane that's typically a touchdown. The seams are especially an issue. They've always kind of been an issue when it comes to cover three. But like I said, the cover three match, I'm going to show you how that's not, there's no issue with cover three match whatsoever. So I'll do this one more time so I can actually get a touchdown look, and then we'll go to the replay. Uh, but like I said, you're going to see right here, the Y route, I mean, he just sprints to space. Um, that cornerback bites too hard on the, the outside uh, wheel route. He bites on a lot of routes. He bites on comebacks. He bites on uh, simple out routes, 10-yard out routes. I'll go ahead and I'll go to the replay real quick. But you can see it's just a simple, any, any pattern that doesn't really commit downfield, you can see how this guy just kind of hangs around over the top of him, leaving this guy and pretty much the safety out to dry. A lot of times, if I have a streak on the other side, he'll be doing the exact same thing. Uh, but it's like I said, it was just became way too easy to beat this defense. So now I'm going to pick the exact same one play touchdown, the verticals one more time. On the defensive side, I'm going to make no adjustments, but I'm going to pick uh, the cover three match which there really isn't a lot of differences. You can see right here, if I go ahead and I, I show the play art, you have a seam flat rather than a curl flat. But that's not the only difference. It, like I said, it looks like, on, on paper, it looks like that's the only difference. You have a seam flat versus a curl flat. But the outside cornerbacks will react differently as well. So like I said, we're gonna set this defense up the exact same way. No tricks up my sleeve here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. No change to the setup. Safety moves over the top. It looks like you get a nice big gaping hole over the wire route, just like last time. And now watch what happens. Watch how the cornerbacks uh, react. I mean, one thing, I got some pressure, but look how the cornerback didn't drop down. He didn't react to the uh, to the wheel route. We'll go to the replay, because I didn't even really get to see it. I was too, the, the pressure was <laughs> in my face immediately. I don't know if there's anything to do with that too. Like the pressure was getting better. But like I said, this outside cornerback, how before he would just kind of slump down and wait for this route. Now he just basically, he reacts completely differently and he turns and he runs. So there's no spacing there. So that's one key difference between these two defenses that you can see obviously you're going to save a touchdown, uh, which it should be reason enough to not choose the original cover three. Cover three buzz, cover three sky. Those are defenses that get absolutely torched up the seam where you can see the second I switch over to this cover three defense, it immediately covers that. You can see on the other side here, this is even more important. I was showing you how on the other defense or the other play, against the other defense this tight end a lot of times like i said if you have streaks right up the middle a lot of times this safety will have to choose between the two this time this tight end gets followed all the way back 
look how he just he just kind of switches to a man he's he's starting all the way outside too which is what's even more insane and then you can see here how he basically they just kind of switch i mean well, this is this is a really interesting switch because this guy here he's in that same flat he switches off and he's sprinting back to replace that and cover this streak where this guy basically just turns in like a man defender and he's right inside. No adjustments at all needed and you can see how much bigger of a difference this is when it comes to shutting down all these plays. Now there is one guy open here. That's the only thing. There's nothing really out here covering this guy. He said the only thing, there, it's not like this defense is going to leave things open. There's still going to be some openings as we go over. You're going to run the play one more time. Like I said, no adjustments on the defensive side. I'm, I have that controller, but I'm not using it. But you can see right here, I mean, I could pass this outside and I could steal this outside. That's the only difference. I mean, there is going to be openings at times, but if you're not giving up one play touchdowns, it's definitely an improvement. Not to mention, you can always like use that side. I mean, there's adjustments you can make. Uh, but because that cornerback doesn't really react to that wheel route, it does kind of leave that open in space. So you can either, you know, man them or do something. You can make any adjustment you want. If I wait too long, though, you can see that cornerback gets back. So it is a small window. Another formation that really gives, uh, you know, cover threes problems that are very popular, uh, the gun tight series, gun bunch series. There's a lot of easy one play touchdowns against cover three in these formations. I'm going to pick the PA shot seams. Another play that I put out a long time ago. Um, it's a really good uh, cover three one play touchdown. We're going to go, we're going to pick that. On the defensive side, like I said, we're just, just to make a point, we're going to start off with the bum cover three, and then we're going to work our way back to the good one. So like I said, this is the bummy one where all you have to do, like I said, I just streak these guys, motion this guy out here. He'll pull that cornerback down. I'm not going to go to replay, so just make sure you keep an eye on that. But he's going to pull that cornerback down like I want. And then typically, the uh, like I said, the streaks, both streaks, Cook and Thomas. The outside cornerbacks are going to react to Ginn, and they're going to react to Smith. They're going to react to both of the outside routes. So it's really going to give me my choice a lot of times when it comes to these other routes inside. So right here, didn't quite get the pass lead that I want, but you can see that there's a huge, a huge lane the same way. Let's just go to the replay real quick so we can take a look at that. Like I said, I, I didn't get the pass lead. I don't necessarily have a speed receiver here, but you can see how this guy, he reacts to that. He really shouldn't. The second he sits on that, it's game over. You know what I mean? Look at the space. I'm just bulleting and throwing it to space. There's nothing to space outside. Same thing on the other side. He's reacting, not really doing much, but he's reacting to this receiver, staying down. And you can see how if I had a really fast tight end, I'd have a lane over there too. This is unacceptable. This is why I stopped running this defense because there's just too many, too many wide open throwing lanes for these cover threes. This is why this defense is no good anymore. So choosing the exact same play, like I said, no tricks up my sleeve. You know, we have the exact same look, just have to find the cover three match. That's all there is to it. So here we go. So here we go. One more time. Like I said, exact same setup, but the reaction that's going to happen this time is way, way different. Now, for one thing, I showed you in the last play how the the uh, the, the curl flats a lot of times, or the, seat, or the seam flats, whatever they're called, the seam flats a lot of times kind of act like man's up the seam. Uh, that's going to do the exact same thing here. The only adjustment that I will make, because I'm aware of this, Anytime you have somebody pressing like this, you, you're going to get burnt. So I just want to move him back just a little bit, just so he doesn't quite get burnt. But it's not necessarily an adjustment. You just, anytime somebody's pressing, they're going to get burnt. It just is what it is. So like I said, I'm not using him. I'm on the offensive side. Look how he turns into a man cover defense up that seam. And then boom, everything gets shut down. Let's do that one more time. Before we go to the replay, let's do that. Like I said, exact same setup, nothing nothing changed here. Like I said, if I leave him down in the box, he's going to get burned. I'll do that one time. But you'll see, he'll still be a man. He presses. He's just going to get burned because he doesn't have the speed to stick up with the receiver. That's the only thing. And the safety still plays better, comes over and takes the play away. So ultimately, to protect the seams a little better, I mean, this defense does that by itself already. But like I said, you can't have this guy up in his face and expect him to keep up with him unless you have a real speedster. Like I said, to me, a lot of times, just base aligning is good enough like that'll stand him up i don't have to stand him up manually you just baseline and he'll walk back it'll change all the guys around although i already messed it up because i already did it manually but like i said base aligning that's all you really need to do that's wire triangle and then uh right on the left stick and then boom you're right in position again and then you know like i said this is just everything's gonna be a lot more locked up like i said right here it looks like your seams going up the top there but boom the cornerback and the safety are doing a much better job of taking that away as he gets hit so you can see how it reacted completely different this play it reacted to the seams and in the previous play it didn't really react to the seams the same way like it, it just it's programmed to be a better cover three defense i don't know how else to say it like it, it's like ea knows that cover three sky and buzz are complete junk 
but they put the time into the cover three match to make sure it takes away the things that beat cover three. That's the simplest explanation. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, if you guys want to see uh, more videos like this, let me know in the comment section of the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.